If I want to call him Grape Ape, I can do that. Even if I'm wrong. Yes, I admit I'm wrong. Hello, everyone. It is Eric, back with Five Nights at Freddy's 2, here on He Played, She Played. We are going to continue with night four, see if we get to night five. I'm going to do my damnedest to survive this evening. I have no idea how well it's going to work. Before we get started with the actual gameplay, I did want to remind people that both Thea and I will be at VidCon in 2015. So if you are going to be in VidCon uh, in next uh, year, then please, please, please look us up. Let's give Night 4 a try, shall we? Okay, so my plan here is to utilize this thing uh, a lot. The mask all the time. I'm going to just utilize the mask. Every time I come back, I'm going to go straight to the mask. Just like that. Hello, Foxy. I sort of figured I would see you there. Raising your hand, coming by to say hi. I appreciate that very much. I know you just want to shake hands, man. You're just a friendly kind of fox. I know that. No problem. I hate this music box. Oh, look. Great Ape's still sitting over there. Oh, hello. That's cool. Great Ape, you can just hang out there as long as you want to, buddy. I'd actually be really glad if you didn't wake up at all tonight. Let me get chased by other people this time, please. Ooh, some mechanical noise. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's him. That's what that noise was. Hello, sir. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do with you, actually. All right, at least somebody new showed up. That's cool. See, do this. That's my new plan. I'm actually sort of excited to have a game that's doing slightly different things tonight. I mean, that's cool. Now, this will be great, babe. Oh, no, it's not. Wow, that's a... That's actually a surprise to me. Um, I don't know where that noise is coming from. Um, okay, mask it is. I totally expected there to be somebody here when I came back because, man, I could hear that sound effect all along, which I assumed meant he was in this main room waiting to kill me. I'm not even going to pay any attention to what time it is because that's just going to make me sad if I die. Balloon Boy is in the vent. I can hear him. He's laughing and giggling in the vent. Oh. Dude, go away. Okay, now you're gone. Oh! Holy f... Cheese balls. You totally, like, changed out people, like, in a blink of an eye. Oh, I don't think I got it. I tried all that practice, and I don't think... All that practice, and I didn't get it. Okay, seriously? I do not like this game very much. Let's just be honest. I'm not having much fun playing this game because uh, uh, it's not scary. I wish it were. I really wish it were scary, but the jump scares uh, get repetitive after a while. They really do. I'm not happy now. The I'm not happy now comment is actually from one of my favorite... Oh, Great Ape is already up and moving. Uh, one of my favorite pinball games of all time, a game called Funhouse, where you were playing a pinball in an amusement park, and at a given point in the evening, midnight would roll around, and the Funhouse would go all dark and scary, and the, the, uh, uh, this mannequin would start talking uh, in the actual pinball game. He would sit above the pinball game, and he would start talking, and after midnight, he would get really pissed off and say things like, I'm not happy now. And it just seems appropriate, given the game that we're playing, because uh, that pinball game also had sort of an animatronic going on. It seemed an appropriate thing to say, especially since it happens to be true. I'm not happy now. <laughs> Hello, Balloon Boy. I hear you laughing. I'm glad someone's having a good time, because it ain't me. Wow, Balloon Boy is talking. Oh, that's why he was talking so much. He was just coming right in. Whether I wanted him to or not. You gone? Good. Yeah, I know you were trying to sneak up on me, Foxy. I am smarter than the average night guard. I'm smarter than the average night guard? Whoops. Oh, really? 
You just teleported in, and I don't know if I was fast enough. Nope. I had looked and looked and looked and looked. Nobody was around. I used to play that pinball machine all the time when I was at Northwestern years ago. All the time. It was the creepiest pinball game. Because the, the more multi-ball you got and the higher your score went, the angrier the puppet became. Such a different type of uh, pinball machine. I found it a couple years ago at, at a... At a uh, at a over at the Santa Monica Pier, they had it at the amusement park over there, and I pl I must have played it for like two hours just because I remembered how much fun it was. I'm talking about pretty much anything but this video game, and at this point, I'm sort of hoping that maybe if I don't pay quite so much attention to the video game, that I'll actually survive it because I'll just be sort of going on reflex mode as opposed to actually, uh, you know, stressing about the video game itself. We'll see if that works. Sometimes I do my best work when I'm not actually thinking about it. Hi. Balloon boy, hello, hello. You have such a calm and pleasant and happy voice. I think during the daytime, Balloon Boy and I could be really good friends. Even at night, Balloon Boy is sort of like the least lethal guy out there. You know what I mean? Even if he comes in the room, from what I hear, even if he comes in the room, because I've actually, I, so far I've actually managed to never let him actually catch me. But if he does come in the room, apparently he just shuts everything off. But it's not him who kills you. It's whoever else shows up after him. So that means, like, he's not even lethal. He's just like this nice little kid. He just wants to come by and say hi. He just wants to have a party. He just wants to give you a balloon. Which is actually a very sweet thing for him to do. Now, if, you know, him giving you a balloon didn't block you from using your flashlight or anything else, you know, that wouldn't be so bad. I'll just keep winding the music box until the day I die. Which will be, you know, now. You know what's really depressing to me? It's like an entire night only takes like 10 minutes. Like if you can actually make it through the night, it's literally only like about 10 minutes of time. Oh, it's good. Okay, see, that's, that's annoying. When I put the head on, then I actually take it off and realize, oh no, wait, Balloon Boy is actually... Ah! Touche, Foxy. You little fucker. Touche. Okay, that time I got truly startled. That time I wasn't ready for something to come at me at all. I was busy talking about how Balloon Boy was there, and I have no fucking idea how Foxy actually managed to come at me that quickly because I thought I had kept him completely under uh, lock and key uh, with every game I'd tried so far. You know, I... It would be fun if every night was something really radically different. And hey, Scott, Cawthon, uh, the guy who's behind this game, I mean, seriously, dude, very serious props to you for pulling off two games in just a couple months that have uh, tweaked so many people's attention. But please, 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 if you're going to make a third one, really make the animatronic patterns radically different from night to night. I mean, different characters who only show up on a third night or a fifth night or whatever, because if I've only got one complaint, and I really only have one, it's that it gets repetitive for me. And I'd love to see just a little, a little different something from night to night. But see, it wasn't Balloon Boy who killed me. Balloon Boy doesn't kill anybody. That's what I was trying to say. He's just a nice little kid. He wants to give you balloons. He wants to brighten up your whole day. It's just when he gets around, you get distracted, and then suddenly other monsters come along and kill you. Hello. And there's Balloon Boy again. Okay, Balloon Boy, like, I really do think you're a cool little kid, and you're making a lot of noise right now, but please, dude, you gotta leave me alone, man, because you're distracting me from other people who are not even normally threats. Normally, Foxy just didn't even a threat to me. Like, if there's one thing I do with this game very well, it's keep an eye on the, uh, on the main hallway there, but man, this time he's really got to me and it's all your fault, dude. Now, if you balloon boy, if you want to come hang out on a Saturday afternoon, I'll get you ice cream, I'll buy you a, a, a sponge cake, whatever you want, man, I'll be totally willing to hang out. But at night, dude, you're a kid, you gotta go to sleep, man. See, this time, Grape Ape is coming after me. Grape Ape, Grape Ape. Yes, I know he's a bunny. He looks like an ape to me. I don't care what people say. I do not care. He is Grape Ape forever in my head. Grape Ape he is. Grape Ape he shall always be. Forever Grape Ape. 
Even when I rage, it will not be Grape Ape that I rage at. Grape Ape for President 2016. Okay, see that time I checked. No Foxy. No Foxy. Oh shit, but that might be Foxy. There you are, Foxy. See, you tried. Oh, damn it. Oh my god, see, it's the same stuff over and over and over again. And Grape Ape just teleports. Oh. What the fuck? Okay. This is the game saying, yeah, 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 we know you gotten screwed up so many times. We're gonna let you go do something else instead. E M S A V E T H E M Save them? What the hell am I doing here? What is this? It looks like I'm the animatronic at a at the place, but there's blood underneath the kid tables. Save them. Save who? The kids? Like, those were like the animatronics and stuff. But what the fuck was that thing that was running around? Was that a ghost? All right, one more time. After this, I kid you not, I am going to shut off the computer. I'm going to throw it across the room. I'm going to go find Scott, shake his hand, and then beg him to modify the game immediately so that there's a cheat mode so that I can win. And it can be the he played, she played cheat mode. And you know what the cheat mode will be? The cheat mode will be start night one. Yay! You have completed night five. That will be the cheat mode. <laughs> uh, I wondered. It was like that in the first game. I wondered if it would be like that here. <laughs> Wow, an already grape ape is in the uh, is in the hallway. Like seriously? So like like it's it's like they all know I'm getting frustrated, so they're just gonna speed up their attack and piss me off so I quit faster. See, they don't even want me playing. So you know what? Screw you guys. Just for that, I'm gonna win. I'm sure it's grape ape in the vents. Oh, no, it's the other guy. Holy cow. Just on general principle, I am going to beat this knight just because. Just because. At this point, I'm getting really... Oh, God. At this point, I'm getting really pissed off. I don't even know what I do with that guy in the vent over there. Because does he come out into the room? Or am I just supposed to stay here until he goes away? Or what? God damn you, Foxy. Okay, that's it. I am done with this game. At least for now, I know that there are lots of you out there who have beaten Night 4 and Night 5, and apparently there's a Night 6, and apparently there's a Custom Night or some damn thing. That's cool. That's great. I don't know if I have the patience. Seriously, I have this really beautiful blue Yeti microphone that we use to record things with, and I don't want to destroy it, but I am at the point right now where all I can see is red. So this is my rage quit for now of this game. I love you guys. If you enjoy this, if you really want me to keep playing, I will do my damnedest to do so, but only if you guys make some notes in the comments and tell me that you want me to keep going. If you guys have ideas on how we get through night four, if you have comments on what I can do that'll be a better strategy, I'd love to see what they are because at this point, I, I, I don't know what to fucking do. So that's it. Love you guys. Please like us. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Please share us around. We are doing everything we can to give you guys really great videos, and we are kicking through. We are at almost 40 videos at this point. So we love you guys. We love doing this for you, and we'd love to keep doing it for as long as we possibly can. In the meantime, I'm going to go rage and drink some Diet Coke and throw things off the balcony. This is Eric for He Played, She Played, and I am out.